Hi there, uh, in this video, I will show you how to add uh, your MDM to Apple Business Manager. Uh, before we get started, and if we said you already uh, sign up with an MDM, uh, there is a three things you have to do. The first thing, which is the APNS certificate, the Apple Push Notification Certificate. This certificate is needed, has to be renewed every year. You don't want it to be expired. Uh, the benefit for it is the communication between your MDM and the devices. Uh, so if we said you're trying to push an apps to the devices or a profile, but there is no communication, the first thing you have to check is your APNS certificate. You want to be sure it's not expired. Uh, beside the Apple ID, the one you use to, uh, to generate that certificate, uh, you have to know it uh, to know the password for it every year. Uh, so the best practice is uh, to use a generic email address for your company in case that IT person who created left the company so it's not going to be tied to their Apple ID. So the second thing is the Apple uh, Business uh, Manager uh, token and then the volume purchase program uh, token. Now let's get started with how to add your MDM to Apple Business Manager. So after you sign into Apple Business Manager on the bottom left corner, uh, you click on settings. Then on the middle, you will see device management setting. You click on that and to the right top middle, you will see add MDM. Now, uh, of course, uh, you will see it's gonna ask you, you can name your MDM, whatever name you want it to be. And then in your MDM, you need to download a public key. Uh, most MDMs is going to be under auto enrollment, something like that. And they have a wizard where you download the public key and then they redirect you to Apple Business Manager. So you get the public key from your MDM. You upload it in here. You select the file. And then when you hit save, then you should be able to see on the top write the name for your MDM then you download the token. Now you download this token from Apple Business Manager and you upload it to your MDM. So the benefit for this token is the device assignment. So when you try to assign a device from Apple Business Manager to your MDM, everything is going to be green and without any issue. If you get an error, that's the first thing you want to be checking to be sure the token is not expired. Now, the last thing is the uh, VPP token, the volume purchase program token or apps and books token. Uh, this is when you purchase an apps using Apple Business Manager to see those apps in your MDM, then you have to exchange the token, the VPP token, the apps and books token. So to do that, you, again, the main screen, after you log in, you go down to setting. Then on the top middle, you will see apps and box. You click on it to the right. If you scroll down, you will see the location and the VPP token. So you download that token and upload it to your MDM. Now, if you have multiple locations, then you need to know if you have... Uh, we said multiple MDMs, each one is used different location, then you specify which one to upload it to your MDM. So this way you're not, it's the same thing if you purchase apps and you're not seeing it on your MDM, the first thing you want to check uh, the token. And you can uh, uh, renew the token anytime. So if you have this issue to solve uh, the, the issue, then just renew the token for the Epson box. So this is it about uh, how to add your MDM to Apple Business Manager. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment below. I will be happy to answer any question about this. Uh, otherwise, if you feel this tutorial is helpful, give it a like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Thank you and have a good day.